standard visiting visa for her so this standard visiting visa is about 116 pounds <laughs> Last day December, my mom was here when I had my baby. So I applied a visiting visa for her when she came. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I applied and then telling you some of the tips that made a visa smooth free and then no any denier or anything. So I'm just going to be explaining the step by step for you, how I apply the documentation what it costs me and how so if this video sounds interesting to you and you feel you want to see some of this video please feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel like my video share my video and give this a thumbs up you know you keep having this kind of video from me Thank so you. yeah my mom was here and i applied this visa for her how did i go about it okay first of all the person that you, you are going to be applying for needs to acquire an international passport nigerian passport so after acquiring that then i went to gov.uk uk and then i applied for standard visiting visa for her so this standard visiting visa is about 116 pounds if there is if it has not changed and it only runs for six months so take for example if your parent is coming like in december so you can start your application by august and then he or she can go for biometrics by maybe october and the visa will be had probably by november and whoever is coming to visit will be here by december that you want them to come so i went to gov.uk and then i apply i click on application so there are some questions that will be asked this question is they they are individualized questions so the question I'm, I'm going to be answering for my mom will be different from whoever you are inviting. So like take for example, now my mom is the purpose of our visit is to come and meet our grandchildren, meet myself and my husband and also reunite with us and, you know, welcome my newborn baby that I'm expecting in December. So I don't know if you're applying for another person, the purpose, you, it will be stated in the application. Also, you'll be backing it up with, a let, with an invitation letter. So this invitation letter will show that it is going to include your address then you address it to the consular general Lagos state so and then you you also include that okay letter of invitation of mrs so 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 or mr so 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 or miss so 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 in that letter you introduce yourself my name is so 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 i'm a registered nurse i work in so 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 trust i live in so 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 address and i would like to invite my mom to come and visit me for so 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 reasons so some of the reasons you you stated there and then you introduce whoever you are inviting so i introduced my mom that she's a civil servant and she's a she's a law abiding citizen of nigeria i'll tell i will also state that okay she's earning some certain amount of money that can fend herself however i'm going to be um i'm going to be sponsoring a trip so mind you if you if you say that you are sponsoring somebody's trip that means that you have some you have you should have some certain amount of money that you have saved in your account for for us for the visiting so if you are going to be inviting anybody and you claim that you'll be sponsoring that person i will advise you to save some money in your account you don't take a couple of money and then put it in your account once it's going to you know show like a red flag and should be suspicious so you should have been saving that money accumulatedly for a couple of six seven months ago before you eventually so apply after don't know you have answered those questions and then you've you've told them that okay you are sponsoring then i'll be listing the documentation that you will be needing so this documentation also depends on the applicant the purpose of the applicant the status of that applicant so take for example as my mom is my mom is still a civil servant she's still working with um, the government in nigeria so there are some documents that she will present to show that she's still in service and then she's still going back to her work after she has spent the time that she's spending with her so mind you in your application or in the application form you will state the arrival date of that person and then you will state when the person is leaving so you can decide to say okay this person is only spending three weeks or one month with us so if you if you are stating that you should know that by before then you should have you, you should have saved some certain amount of money as well and then you will state the address that the person is going to be staying so you that means that you'll be you'll be putting your home address and then so if you put your own address, definitely you will put something down to show that this is where you are actually living. So that is maybe your landlord form or maybe your, even your statement of account that shows 
the the address that number you one which so i said is the applicant's international passport so after that international passport my mom also wrote like a letter to introduce herself from her work so our employer or maybe our boss or a manager wrote a letter that this person has been working with their organization for so 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 amount of time and the level she is the money she's um, paying and then her role will be mentioned in that letter and a letter aid so that to show that you are working you are actually working with that company also my mom also put us a bank statement so in the is this in this bank statement because she has two accounts one is a salary account and then the other one is a personal account so the the uh, the salary account she stated that okay this is where they are paying a salary into and the personal account this is um she stated in that personal statement letter introduced herself and explained herself in that letter so she told the consular general um that she's working she's she has family that she's looking after in nigeria that she'll go back to so she, all the properties that she has she mentioned it there how much she's earning annually she mentioned it there and if and then the side business that she's doing herself she mentioned it there so and then you need to prove so everything that you are stating you need to prove like something to prove that this thing is genuine so she put her personal statement there also i put my um invitation letter my mom also did police clearance so you know my mom is extra so she did police clearance also a uh, vehicle insurance she put it there just to show that okay she has a car also a marriage certificate she put it there and then she has previously been into the united kingdom before so paid then we also added it there to show that she has been there she, she has come and then she has left she didn't overstay also i told you that i mentioned that she put a statement of account that is six month statement of account then she did she she took covid job so she also you know she, she also put the covid um, card that she took she put it there and then her pay slip for six months was also there she also collected a, a letter from a lawyer so this letter is um is a letter head letter from the lawyer which stated that my mom is a law abiding citizen she has she's working in with the government she doesn't have any criminal record and if they need anything like if they need any further information they can contact a lawyer and blah 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 so that is what is in the lawyer letter anyway if you have a lawyer the lawyer will know what to write in the letter and also annually so she requested annually from her workplace so the annual leave approval was also uh, added to the document also proof of address so you know she can either use like a utility bill or she can bank statement so she i think she used both for the proof of for the proof of address so for myself I presented my bank statement my brp then i presented my mortgage my passport my staff id my marriage certificate my national insurance number yeah. and then for my husband as well my husband presented his uh, driver's license is um he, he also presented his passport his brp then then also my mom presented a promotion letter yeah promotion letter a first appointment letter and then some letter his driver's license as well then then um then also the car document that we had we presented so, so basically those are the documents the important document that you will have to present so if you are anybody that you are inviting put it at the back of their mind that they need to show that they are committed to nigeria so that they won't be denied so that it will show that they are not coming here to stay they are coming to go back so and it should be easier for them that way if they are in, um, if you apply for their visa and, and then you, you won't get any unfortunate um response from the consul general of the united kingdom so I hope I've been able to explain this process to you and I hope I've been able to enlighten anybody that is applying for visiting visa. So if this video, you know, sounds interesting to you and you feel like you've learned one or two things from me, please share this video and like this video, comment, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.